All right, guys, this is how I do my habit tracker. I get my habit trackers all printed out. I do them in US letter for the large or extra large, I guess, of the moleskin scissors to cut off the bottom. Scratch paper. This is like a double sided tape, crafter's tape. All right, first things first. On the US letter one, there's an extra bit down here that I cut off. Sometimes I do it with a straight, sometimes I just do it with my scissors. All right, then I find the place in my bullet journal where I wanna put it. And I, this is the system that I use, and I'll show you because I've already put in December. So, my habit trackers have this tracking grid with the moon phases and the quote, and I fold it over. And this side has goals on it. I connect these with my annual goals or, or intentions that I set or that I will set in uh, December-ish. All right, so let's skip ahead to where I still need to put one in. And I know that I'm gonna put the habit tracker on this side and the goals on this side. So I've cut off the bottom. Snip, snip, snip. I have a line here, I fold along the line. And then I'm gonna take out my tab, my little reminder tab, and I put it folded in like this. Line it all up. And then I put tape on this side. Scoop this down. And this is where the scratch paper comes in handy. I've learned that if you put this double-sided goopy tape too close to the edge, you end up with a lot of goop. So, I'm really trying to perfect and not even using the scratch paper. Let's see. And I don't know yet how particular I am about having, whoa. Now I have to say, once this stuff goes down, it is tricky. All right, I think I'm committed. All right, it's beautiful, it's awesome. Flip it to the other side, similar thing. And I'm gonna do it without the scratch paper. Because I am not getting close to the edge. I push down here to spread it out, make it nice and flat. 